I was running through the city of Manhattan. The reason why I was running was because I just uh, was with my other church, the church in the Bronx, Bedford Park, and we were doing a community outreach project, United to Serve, where we are uh, giving out food in the community to people in need. And I was cutting it close. And so I was trying to be with uh, my bed for park people as long as possible. And I looked at my, my phone, saw that time was up. I, if I wanted to get to the series, I needed to leave it now. And so I was already several city blocks away. City blocks are mad long. And so there in Manhattan, I just had to start booking it through the city, ducking and weaving through people. I was putting on a sweat. And finally got to my car after uh, 10 minutes of, uh, of trying to, since the moment I said I need to leave. And so got in my car and started driving. And I was driving at a crawl because Manhattan has a lot of traffic. And oh, I was like, come on, come on. And I, then I kept telling myself, kept thinking, you know what, Wayne? All this worrying, all this uh, frustration isn't going to make the traffic move any faster. Just got to trust. So I just pray to God and try to trust him. And praise God, I was able to make it here uh, 15 minutes before start time. Because before that, I was already thinking, okay, uh, what am I going to do? Who am I going to get to preach? But I was like, oh, I can't get somebody else to start preaching. I was like, okay, maybe I can do like a song service thing, uh, an extended song service. Like, nah, that'll be that'll be kind of awkward. I mean, it'll be no choice. But I was like, no, trust, and you know, relax. So I got here 15 minutes before uh, things were gonna start, and you know, we spoke on Mark chapter 14, the Gethsemane experience of Jesus, and so speaking there. Uh, I talked about another guy who was running and he wasn't running to church. <laughs> he was running away. See, because he was trying to follow Jesus. But the problem was that he was apparently sleeping naked. I know some people like to sleep naked. This guy was Apparently sleeping naked. All he had was a, just a linen cloth wrapped around him as he was trying to follow Jesus. That wasn't enough. So when the people grabbed him, they took off. He took off running and they had the linen cloth still in their hands. And he booked it completely nude. If you try to follow Jesus, you better have some clothes. <laughs> what do I mean? If we're not clothed with God's righteousness, if we're not clothed with him and his robe of righteousness, then we are not prepared to follow Jesus. We need to go to him. We need to pray to him. And we need to ask him to cover us with his record. Only then can we follow Jesus. If not, we're going to be heading in the wrong direction.